Now, were you Jake the Snake at that point? Was that your name? I was Jake the Snake probably from 1979 on. Okay. I was Jake the Snake before I ever started carrying a snake. Got it. But when Vince McMahon called, he said, I want you to carry a snake. Yeah. Had you carried a snake before then? Never. I'm, I'm terrified of snakes. Okay. So that was just his own little brainchild. Well, I'd had the idea myself a couple of years before, but uh, the owner of Mid-South said that was ridiculous. We're not, we're not going to have a damn circus out there. What the hell you think? This is wrestling. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to go there. Okay. So you actually didn't even want to do the snake, but then there was a big check associated with it. Yeah, there was a, a promise of a lot of money. Yeah. So you were like, okay, I'm going to do the snake. Yeah, thing. I'm not afraid of them anymore. Okay. So you signed to WWF, and your first big bout was Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Yeah. Now, originally, this thing was supposed to be planned, and you were supposed to do the DDT in the ring. No, they wanted it on the concrete. Oh, okay. So they wanted it on the concrete Yeah, originally. I didn't want to do it. Right, because it's dangerous. Yeah, I knew, it, I knew it, it'd screw him up. Okay, but he actually was okay with doing it on the concrete. Yeah, he felt like he owed the, the booker at the time. It was a guy by the name of, uh, oh, boy. Well, I can't remember his name anyway, but he, he thought he owed him a favor. And so he came to me and he said, come on, Jake, just do it for me. I owe this guy a favor and I want to repay him. And I said, man, we can't do it because it's going to hurt you. It's going to hurt you bad. And he, just, he was adamant about it, man. I said, okay, man, it's on you. And when we did it, I knew he was hurt because it sounded like somebody had dropped a watermelon on concrete. Just black, you know, and uh, that wasn't a good sound. And then when I went to pick him up, I found out that he was knocked out. Yeah, he got knocked unconscious, yeah. and he ended up uh, sustaining a concussion. Oh, because yeah, a serious concussion. His, his forehead swelled out four inches. It took two weeks for his eyes to turn black because all the swelling. But he asked for it, so he couldn't yeah, really he got it. it. He won't ask yeah. for it again. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I guess after that, uh, in order to combat the whole snake thing, he decided to bring a quote unquote Komodo dragon with him. Yeah. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. Right. It wasn't really a dragon though. No. No. It was a monitor lizard. Right. It was a, was it a crocodile though? At one no, point? no, 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 no. Well, I saw him with a, I saw him with an actual crocodile though. No, it was a monitor point. lizard. Monitor lizard. Okay, yeah. my bad. Okay. Okay. So, what was it like at that point? Now you're you're in the big leagues. You're you you got big you know big matches. You're making more money. Everything else like that. Yeah, it, it's just flying too fast, going way too fast. You know the the money, uh, the women, the drugs, all of it was just coming at you too fast, man. Right, in that same year, you actually challenged uh, Macho Man Randy Savage for the championship, uh, which ended in a double disqualification. Yeah. But it kind of set off, you know, a it, thing that would happen later on. Later on, right. Yep. Set the table. Set the table, exactly. And uh, weren't you supposed to fight uh, Hulk Hogan around this time? Yeah, and uh, I did fight him twice, but... Uh... The fans cost me a lot of money because they were chanting DDT, DDT. And uh, that's not what they wanted, man, because, uh, you know, the big picture is not how many fans you put in an arena. It's how much how much you sell at the merchandising stores and stuff. And they didn't want the crowd split because it's just bad for business. So that's when they ichnayed me and uh, made me a baby face instead of a heel. Right. I mean, at the time, Hulk Hogan was kind of the face of the WWF, Yeah, right? he, he was he was the golden goose. Yeah. Was that around the same time he did the Rocky movie? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So he was just a, a megastar at this oh, point. Oh, yeah, he was. Okay. And 
that same year, you had a match with the Honky Tonk Man. Yeah. And whose idea was it to, to hit you with a guitar? That was Vince's idea. It was a bad idea. Well, it was a bad guitar. Uh, they didn't get a prop guitar. They got a real guitar. The damn thing was a half an inch thick. And when he hit me, it blew out C6 and C7, which caused me a lot of problems because I, I, I wouldn't quit wrestling and get it fixed. I was too afraid. I was afraid it might all end. So I wrestled for two years with that injury, and that's when I started taking a lot of pills, man, to combat the pain. Right. You said that you were picking pieces of wood out of your back for weeks. Yeah, fiberglass. Okay. You can't that... see you can't see fiberglass, man. Yeah. It's just shivers of it. Was that your first major injury? Yeah. Well, what? No, I'm not going to say it was my first major injury because I'd, I'd folded this wrist over to my forearm one time and I had to, they had to open me up and reconstruct that. And that took a year and a half off. So that was pretty major. But the neck injury was the one that, it wouldn't have been as bad as it was if I'd had the surgery done sooner. But because I was afraid to, to get it done, because I was afraid they was going to tell me I couldn't wrestle anymore, which is what they told me whenever I did have it done. But that didn't stop me. 